hello friend welcome back in our previous video we have created one of the factory for the admin as the admin factory we have created one of the model as the admin model and also we have created another controller for the admin as the admin controller and then we seed some of the data in our database table that means in our admin table in our admin that means in our e-commerce and to the admins uh, table we have seed some of the data right and here you can see that is actually our data perfect so now we have to do we have to create the guard okay as i told you for creating that multi authentication system by default they are using that means laravel using the web guard so now for our admin i want to do and to create another guard so for creating this guard uh, right now i want to do and to make it as a clean okay so i remove everything from this position and for uh, creating that guard you have to do you have to go to that uh, config so that is our http controller the middle layer and then there is a config so into the config area if you go to that auth and into this auth here you can see friend by default this guard is using uh, for the user as a web and password as a users so now for our admin we have to do we have to create these guards so you can see that is a web guard so now i want to do i want to create another one i want to create another guard for our admin right so now i name it as admin and for the providers here before that was a user so now i want to do and to create another one as admins okay so i name it as admins perfect and here i am actually adding that provider as admins right so now we have to do we have to also created these providers so if you want to create these providers you can see that is a user providers so that is actually the provider so now i want to do i want to create another providers for the admin admin so now i copy it and simply after that i paste it okay friend so now i am here i'm here using that provider names the provider name as the admins so now i copy it so that will be as a admins and also i have created another model for the admin right so into the model folder here i have created one of the model as an admin model so that is in our app and then the models and then the admins now i want to do and to name it as the admin i hope friend it is very much clear to you and after that also we have to do we have to uh, create the password option in the password option and then the user so right now i want to do and to create the same that means the resetting password option into the resetting password option uh, for the user i want to create another new one here i simply paste it so that will be for the admins okay that will be for the admins and also the providers i have already created one of the providers as the admins right so that will be as the admins and rest of these the table the password reset will be the just like that same expert 60 and everything will be just like that same and rest of this will be just like that same like there is a password timeout will be same okay here i have created this uh, password reset option for the admins i have created one of the providers for the admins and also here i have created that admin providers details right that means the guards so perfect so now i want to do i have to click on the save all so now we have to do we have to work with our locking which method is actually responsible for the locking as i told you before if you want to check it uh like that is a project i want to open the cmd and here if you run with the php artisan and the route list so i open that route list so into the route list area as i told you before friends uh, there have the one of the EU logging method so first of all i want to do and to find out that login mm, there is a logout the register there is a locking and with the locking area you can see that is the create method so this create method is responsible for creating this user and here that is actually the one of the file as a laravel 45 http controllers and authenticated session controller okay so that is actually the um, controller is responsible uh, for creating this uh, locking so now i want to do and to find out uh, this file okay that means this authenticated session file so if you want to find it uh, if you are using that windows then you have to do you have to write press as a control p okay with the control p i want to do and to find out that authenticate authenticate uh, session so authenticate session controller 
okay so they have the two controller one is the authenticated session controller.php which is into the vendor laravel 45 src http controller and in particular this folder area they have one of the file as a authenticated session controller and another one as a two factory authenticator session controller so now i want to to open this file so here that is actually the file and you can see that is actually protected by the guard. So that is our um, constructor. That is a guard constructor, and that is the our create method. So this is the create method actually responsible for our this user logging. Okay, so right now I am already logging. So this user logging option uh, actually comes from our this place. Okay, so that is the responsible for this logging, and then. There is a storage method that is a locking pipe that is a pipeline and into the locking pipeline they have some of the file that is an attempt to authenticate so that is one of the class that is a redirect to factory authenticate authenticatable okay so that is actually another one that is another class and there is a paper authenticate section okay friends so here that is all that pipe that is a locking pipeline one of the method so and then that is the destroy method okay destroy method is work for the logout option so i will also discuss about that things later you can see everything actually on particular that area and or if you want to check it that which uh, guard actually laravel using for the default you can also check it like that is our um, function constructor into the function constructor i want to do i want to show you then the, everything will be more clear to you i want to run with the dd and i want to dd this or this guard okay so I simply add the DD. So now if you click as a save all and now if you um, refresh it, now click as a logout. Now here you can see friend by default which card actually is it using it using that guard as a wave guard. Okay, so that is the same things now we have to do we have to create for the admin, right? So this webguard is for our user, right? So they have the also another uh, table and another table for the user. So now we have to do, we have to create another guard for the admin. And with this admin, now we have to do, we have to get this admin. Like that means when you actually redirected to the admin logging, then it should be our guard will be changed. Our guard will be as the admin guard. Rather than it should be as a default one as a web guard. Okay so right now i want to do i want to remove it here we don't need this and now if you click as a save all and after that if you click as a refresh now it's can see it's from perfect so that is our locking so now there is also another things like that is one of the um, stateful guards and so this is stateful guards is that is one of the interface okay so here if you put your cursor you can see that is actually the stateful guards so here if you open it and here you can see friend that is as i told you that is one of the interface and this interface as a stateful guard interface extends the guard so if you put your cursor here you can see that is actually the main guard actually working so if you open it so into this that is one of the another interface as a guard interface and here you can see there is a public as a check the another function as a guest another function for the user function for the id the validate and the set user Okay, so that is actually the appropriate position. If you put your cursor here, you can see there is a vendor, Laravel, Frameworks, SRC, Illuminate, Contacts, Auth, and into the Auth folder, they have the guard.php. So this guard.php is responsible for manage our all that guards. So friend, I hope you get some of the little idea of how that file is structured in Laravel. So that is one of the interface as a stateful, um, stateful guard interface and that is state and our main guard, right? And also you have to understand one thing like when you install Laravel default authentication system in our app into the actions area, we get that some of the 40 files, some of the file, right? So that into the 45 folder, there is a create user, the password validation, some of the file, and also into the JD stream folder, there is a delete user. And if you go to that providers, into the providers area, it's also created another file. Mm, right now, if you go to that providers, into the providers area, that is the 45 service providers. Okay, and into the 45 service providers, here you can see friend, that is one of the register method. So we have to do, we have to work in particular this register method area and also this method actually comes from another places like I show you if you put as a control P again, I want to find out one of the file as a 45. 
okay into the 45 here you can see friend that is actually the 245 file that is a 45 service providers that is in our app providers and 45 service provider that means that is actually the file and another one is the vendor laravel um, 45 src and into the src area that is a 45 service provider so if you open this file and into this file area here you can see that is actually the main function that means the function for the one of the register method into the register method area it's actually bind it's working with the bind method and it is bind the interface as a stateful guard interface and then there is a 45 guard they are actually using so here there is a register responsible bindings all that are bindings code so that is all that default structure okay friend so that is all that is default structures now we have to do we have to work uh, in particular this area so right now we don't need this so i just share all that file structure we have to do we have to work in particular this register method area so here first of all i want to do i want to add this and i want to add this app so that means that this and then app and i put one of the condition here as a when okay that means a when when here i want to do i want to load all that our controller and then attempt to authenticate all that class so first of all i want to do i want to add our controller so i have already created one of the controller if you go to that http into the controller area that is our admin controller right so that is the admin controller first of all we have to do we have to add it so now i copy it and now in our um, that is actually our providers and then 45 service providers here i want to do and to add it that is an admin controller and in the admin controller class okay i add simply add that admin controller class and also we have to do we have to add our another one if you go to that authenticated session com controller into the authenticated session controller um there are the two things will be needed one is the attempt to authenticate will be needed and uh, also we need that this one as a redact um, two-factory authenticatable okay so that is the two of this class will be needed so right now first of all i have to do and to copy it i copy total things from here and now go to our providers in particular that area first of all i want to add that authenticate that is the attempt to authenticate class and also after that i just put that comma and i want to do i want to take also this one i copy it i copy this two factor authenticate so now after that i simply add it okay that is a redact two factor authenticated authenticatable class and after that here i want to do i want to uh, load um, another one i want to load that needs so i simply load that needs I just added that needs and into the needs area I want to use that as a stateful guards so that means this interface I will copy it so here I simply add this class so I simply add it okay and also we have to add that give give and give area I want to put on the function so that is our function in function area I want to do I want to better put that things on here so that is our function into the function area i want to simply use our um, guards that i have created for the admin so i simply returned it in particular that area so that will be the return return and then with the auth that means authenticated user and then i want to do and to use that guard i want to use that guard which guard i want to use i want to use that admin guard right so that will be as our admin guard perfect so now we have to do we have to support our all that classes like that is our attempt to um, authenticate class we have to add the redact to factory we have to add and the stateful guards also we have to add it right so if you want to add it that means if you want to use it so that is in our um, authenticated session controller into the authenticated uh, session controller um, here you can see that is actually stateful guards so now first of all i want to take it I want to use it also. Mm, I want to use so right now. There is a stateful guards here. We don't need this. I close it and into the um, providers, into the 45 service providers. Here I have created that registration. So now, first of all, I want to support it as a stateful guards. I want to support that two factor. That means attempt to um, authenticate. Here I also want to use it and also there is another one as a redirect two factor authenticate. Okay, so now I copy it. And then after that i simply paste it so that is our redirect that is our attempt to authenticate and also that is stateful perfect and also the admin controller we have to do have to also support that means we have to use that admin controller so now i want to use that that is in our app 
and with the app area and then the HTTP into the HTTP and then the controllers okay controllers uh, make that your spelling is correct that is actually the controllers okay so into the controllers area that is actually I have created as an admin controller so now everything I use it so that is a four things so that is actually one two three four perfect so now friend here I have created on the return or guard for the admin right so now i didn't create any uh, guards so in our stateful guards so that is actually our stateful guards right so now i want to do i want to um, create another stateful interface guard for the admin so for doing this in our app okay so into the app folder here i want to do i want to create one of the new folder and i just name it as a guards so i name it as a guard so this type of one of the folder i want to create and into this guard folder i want to create another new file uh, i just simply that is actually the stateful guards right so now i want to create another one for the admin stateful guard so this type of one of the file i want to create now i just click as a new file now click as a save as and now here i name it as admin and then stateful guards guards.php okay so make that your spelling is correct that is our admin and stateful guard.php so now i simply save it so from our main stateful guard here i copy everything i copy everything from this position and now in our guards folder there is a admin stateful guards here i simply paste it so friend that is actually the procedure okay so that is step by step procedure you have to flow so right now just click the save all so here I have now created another interface uh, that is a stateful guard. So now we have to we have to change that name. We have to name it as the admin, right? So that will be as the admin stateful guards. Perfect. So what I want to do, I want to continue this process. In our next video, we will actually cover all that our rest of this step. Okay. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.